Welcome back to our sixth YouTube video on our WordPress tutorial. Ever heard of the phrase, content is king? To add any sort of content to any website, we first need to learn how to create a page on WordPress. Today, we are going to show you how to create a page on WordPress. We are also going to show you how to add pages to a website, how to edit it, and how to publish them. We will then show you how to modify the page and delete the page on WordPress. Before we begin, we received an email from Christopher regarding our last video. We are always grateful for your feedback as it helps to improve our videos. Chris was of the opinion that the theme installed in our last video, which was Taylor Stylist, has a lot of pre-installed items such as background picture, menu bar, logo, a header which shows the email and phone. He wanted to know if it was possible for us to use a theme in which we have to make everything ourselves from scratch. His point was that if we had to make everything ourselves, it would be helpful for all those who are making a WordPress website for the first time. Well, I think it's a pretty good idea, so I installed a theme called Astra. As you can see, there is nothing pre-installed. There is no logo, no phone number, no menu, no background picture, so we have our work cut out for us. Okay, let's start by adding content on this website. And the easiest way is to add a page to your website. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard and let's click Pages. It's important to remember that WordPress is dynamic. You can add new pages, delete, modify their names, etc. with the click of a button. Now, every website should have a few pages like your home page, an About Us page, contact, blog, and news, and finally, how about a FAQs? It's important to remember that WordPress is dynamic. You can add new pages, delete, modify their names, etc. with the click of a button. Remember, it can vary from website to website, so let's start with adding a home page. Click on Add New, and now you can see it says Add Title. Write Home in capital letters. We are not going to add any content right now, but you can add it here if you want. You can add text and a picture. More on this in the next video. We're just going to skip this step, and on the right side it says Publish. You press it once, and it says ready to publish. You press publish again and now you have successfully published this page. Click on view page to see the page. Let's add the rest of the pages. Let's go back to our website and repeat the same steps and add the rest of the pages. About us, contact you, blog and news, FAQs. Okay, we are done with adding all the pages. We have five pages that we installed. This page, Privacy policy was added by the word press theme, meaning it's added automatically by the theme. Let's go back to our dashboard and let's look at all pages. We can see the home page, the contact, the blog and news and the FAQs page. We can see the individual pages that we published here. So we can see the pages on our dashboard. However, if we go to our website and refresh it, they're not showing anywhere. Well, don't worry, we will show you how to add the pages to the menu so you can see them on your website in the next video. Lastly, let's see if it's possible to change the name of a page we created. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and click on Pages and then All Pages. Let's change the name of FAQs to Customer Reviews. Click on Edit and just type in the new name, Customer Reviews, in place of FAQ. Hit the Update button and click on View Page at the bottom. You can see the name has changed. We can also see that the new name is being shown in the dashboard. Well, there is another way of changing the name of a page directly from your WordPress dashboard. Let's try this again, but from the main dashboard. Just click under FAQs where it says Quick Edit, and it immediately shows the name of the page. You can just replace FAQs with Customer Reviews and then press update now, you are all done. And you now know two ways of changing the name of the page. When we started this YouTube tutorial videos, remember we told you that we would take you through all the options being shown on the WordPress dashboard. 
Today, you have finished learning about the Pages tab completely. Well, that wraps it up for this lesson. Take care and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. We appreciate your feedback, so drop your questions and thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.